Hey guys, I'm Riddle. Welcome back to my channel. There's lots of exciting things happening over here. I can't believe it. We're in my closet. I did a closet tour quite a while ago, like right when I finished my room, but it still wasn't like complete, complete. Also that video was right when my camera was like starting to break. And so the footage looked insane. So I'm really happy that we're gonna be redoing this, doing an updated closet tour. A lot of you guys were like, please do an updated closet tour because I have added some cute things. So I'm excited to show you guys that. Today's video is sponsored by ThreadUp. I've worked with them before. They are amazing. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, it is an online consignment and thrift store, which I love because then you can thrift shop from your computer. Right when I found out I was pregnant, I'm not even kidding. Literally the day of, I ordered baby clothes on ThreadUp because I had a credit and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get baby clothes. This time code right now gets you up to 60% off site-wide. Don't forget to use my code and free shipping. And this applies only to US and Canada because I remember on the last video, people were like, oh, does it work in the UK or Europe? Sorry, <laughs> maybe next one. So again, up to 60% off using my code Rydell. And then I'm gonna show you everything that I ordered. So they have like the widest range of everything. They have maternity, women's clothes, baby clothes, little girl clothes, shoes, accessories, Chanel bags, all your favorite favorite brands, some high-end, like if you're like, oh, I've always wanted a Chanel, um, I was trying to think of an item. I've always wanted a Chanel belt that are like a bazillion dollars. You can get it for like 20 bucks. That's been fun is like getting name brand things, but for cheaper, woo. They have tons of winter items right now, of course, but I live in California, so I'm already kind of prepping for spring. So I got kind of a lot of dresses. So the first thing I got was this really cute Urban Outfitters dress. I'm actually, I'm not gonna hold anything up for you because I'm gonna just show you the picture and I'm gonna put it on and show you in my cool new mirror. So I got an Urban Outfitters dress. This was originally $60 and I got it for $22.99 score. And it's such a cute, like um, cream off-white stripe color. And it'll be so cute with my baby bump. <laughs> that, that's another thing too. While I was shopping the whole time I had in mind like a bump. So I got clothes that were either like gonna be flowy or like my favorite style is baby doll dresses. And this is kind of like baby doll dress. Next, I got this PacSun short sleeve t-shirt. It was originally $24. I got it for $12.99. And I just, I mean, you can never have too many, I feel like just basics laying around. So this is such a cute basic striped tee. I love the kind of aqua blue color. This is perfect to throw under a dress or just on with jeans. Well, I can't really wear jeans anymore. <laughs> with maternity jeans or leggings or whatever. Mostly I was thinking like with overalls or like something like that. And then I got this Old Navy flannel. I feel like flannels are always in. I love having a good flannel. This flannel is so soft. It was originally $35. I got it for 20 bucks. And I feel like, I mean, it's just always good to have flannels on hand. This is also a perfect transitional piece from like winter to spring. Well, it's still kind of nippy out. You can throw this on and then as soon as it gets hot, tie it around your waist. Another thing, side note that I love about ThreadUp is you can put in all your sizes. So it helps limit the search. That helps because otherwise it's like, it's like crazy. You could stay on there forever and just keep searching and shopping and so fun. And then I got this Dodo Bar. I don't, I don't know this brand, but I guess it's a big deal because it was originally $615 and I got it for 156 And then I got these shoes. These are Badgley Mishka. Again, I don't know that brand, but it must be a big deal because these are $245 wedges and I got them for $44. Oh, this I thought was so cute. It's really like shiny gold. It's free people. It was originally $138. I got it for $39.99 and the detail on it is so cute and like free people on sale is a score to me. Like I will only shop free people for sale. So that's all the things I got this round. Again, you can use my code Rydell for up to 60% off site-wide on the Red Up. I will link everything in the description below if you want to reference it. I'll show you the baby clothes I got from there in a future video because they're really cute. Without further ado, I'll show you the updated closet tour without any camera malfunctions. Okay, so. It's a new day. Super is down for his nap, had to wait for him to fall asleep, and I had to vacuum and clean up the room because it looked like a tornado went off. So now I can finally show you, and I think I'm just gonna show you guys like from my POV. Every time I watch closet tours or house tours or something, sometimes they go so fast and I'm like, I couldn't even see it. Like, what does your bathroom actually look like? Without further ado, let me show you all the new things that we got. So starting with the chandelier 
just got installed literally an hour ago. So here it is in its glory. And silly, silly Rydelli, I thought the lights came with it and it didn't. So we don't actually have light yet, but that's all right. I found it on Amazon. It's like the perfect pink. It's so cute. I love how low it hangs. And then addition number two is this mirror. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? I love it so much. I knew I wanted this mirror. When I got the ad on my Instagram, I was like, I'm buying this right now. That so looks so cute. It, it literally, it goes perfectly with the vibe because I got like the checkered floors. I got the whole retro thing going. Addition number three is this. <laughs> I haven't hung it yet. This is going to be my jewelry board and it's going to go right here on this plain wall right behind the door basically basically it's a whiteboard my last jewelry wall if you will but basically before um like in my high school room at my parents house i used a, a push pin board cork board what are those called and i lined it with pink paper and then i put push pins all through it and i hung all my necklaces because i like being able to see all my jewelry because i have a lot of it packed away and pretty much every jewelry that's packed in like a container i don't get out unless i know like i have a christmas container and so i know like oh there's my christmas container i bring it out in december and i wear that all month i'm gonna make that real quick it's freaking heavy i also found that on amazon it's kind of more expensive diy this was like a hundred bucks but again i'm so particular on my pinks it's worth it also the mirror is from West mirrors. I thought they were a scam. They're not, so you're in good hands. <laughs> okay, so I got the command clear thingies. Basically gonna line literally this whole thing so that at least a hundred, probably more necklaces can fit on it. The reason I wanted this instead of the push pin board is because some of my necklaces are heavy and on my push pin board, they were starting to fall off. They'll all just sit here like this, boop. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Last thing about the jewelry organization, um, another thing you could do that is cheaper is you could get a closet rod and then you can just hang all the jewelry across it. Uh, the reason I don't like that is because I like my jewelry facing out so I can see it more. Picture if jewelry nexus were just hanging all next to each other, I still wouldn't really be able to see them as well and they get tangled. I've done it before, that's the only reason I'm saying that. I'm gonna hang a couple necklaces real quick just so you can get the vibe okay so here's what it looks like so far i just love how clean it looks you can also just get these and put them straight on your wall but i like this because i move a lot <laughs> and so then i can always take it with me and just keep it as is you know what i mean yeah you see how like clean it is and you can see everything like this necklace i just got out i haven't even worn yet because i didn't know it was like tucked in this corner back here. I did, this was what I was working with before. So yeah, that's the start. Another reason I love the whiteboard thing is one, this is magnetic. So I can also like put cute um, like Polaroids or pictures up and I could write stuff. You can do whatever you want basically. Fun little art project. Okay, now I'm just gonna do one more kind of walk through, sweep through. I might be repeating myself, but I'm gonna assume that maybe you all didn't see the last video. So I'm gonna walk through POV, show you everything and do really slow B-roll. So right when you walk in, I got a little hanger thing here with kind of bigger bags and I got belts hiding in here as well. So when you walk in, you have this first clothing rack, which used to be in that corner there. And basically this clothing rack, it's everything that I haven't worn yet or a couple things I have worn. Like I've worn this dress before, but I didn't really take pictures in it. Kind of the same thing with the jewelry. Like I want all new stuff out so that I grab it and wear it. And then I actually just finally started doing my makeup in here because I was doing it in my bathroom before, but the lighting in the morning right here is so awesome. And then I can do like my transition TikTok etc so i got my makeup here i'll show you in the drawers too this is all lipsticks and lip glosses this side is like tools scissors beauty blenders this is all bronzers highlighters and blush and primers and then this drawer is bags these are clothing bags and then there's like small little makeup bags tucked under there too. And then on this side, the hair stuff, I actually kind of need to organize this, but this is like a junk drawer. These are hard drives, stationary. I have to organize this drawer. This is hair stuff and foot stuff. <laughs> Booby tape, foot cushions, weaves. So my hard drives and stuff are all gonna end up going in here because i don't know if you noticed but one two three i got a third alex drawer so this is gonna be all my like work stuff so filming stuff more like office supply things behind is the infamous shoe wall i've always wanted this it's 
beautiful. I'm so happy I like rainbow coordinated it because I wasn't actually 100% sure. <laughs> Just in case it's a girl, I thought it was so cute because it's baby and it's pink. So I can use it for photos or something. And then here is the mirror. We have a dresser right here. I told you guys I was going to show you this last time, but it's it's literally, I still haven't gotten around to organizing it. This is all kind of mismatched. This I'm leaving out because it's new. I want to wear it for Valentine's Day. Same with these so that I see them and wear them. This is kind of all accessories like cute little dainty socks, um, headbands gloves, stuff like that. And then in this drawer is all makeup. Here's like foundation and concealer. This is all my glitter, glitter and brushes, um, eyeshadows, eyeliners and mascaras, false eyelashes and glue. And these are all my palettes. And then I just got this little basket. I thought it was so cute. These are all my phone cases for my new phone, boo boo boo. These are little belt things. And then necklaces here that will get hung on this. Yeah, that's pretty much it I think. Oh. guys i almost forgot to show you where all the actual clothes are so in here on this side we have all the crop tops color coordinated right here on top and i actually had capron hang this extra rod for me it only had one rod and i'm like hmm, that all my clothes are not gonna fit crop tops up here and then when we scroll down here these are all my short dresses also color coordinated Ooh, don't mind the black hangers that bothers me probably doesn't bother you but it bothers me down below is my tennis shoes and like my big chunkier boots that did not fit because we already have overflow and then when we go on the other side on the top row we have like tops so these are not crop tops <laughs> these are tops so they're longer tops or flannels cardigans and then when we go down here we got the long dresses short dresses on that side long dresses mm. And um, I've worn all of these. <laughs> and these are like all my faves that I will, most of them I'll keep forever. And they're all so cute, like postpartum, during pregnancy, after pregnancy, like all the things. That bin is all my wigs from like R5 tour and just for dress up. So yeah, that is what's inside the closet. Last time you guys were like, where are all your shirts and stuff? So those are in my room. So I'm gonna show you those real quick. Okay, so we're in my bedroom. On this side, it's Caprons. On this side, it's my stuff. We open the door and boom, there's all my t-shirts. Below it is my sweats that are not organized. And my swimming suits are in this bin. More sweats up here. I've kind of like, the shirts are organized and stuff. I need to get like shelves or something to organize my sweats better. The middle section, we got more sweats. And then these are all my jumpers. So, and then underneath what do we got? These are thick, thick winter sweaters. They're all folded in there because you can only wear those like one month out of the year in California. And that's my pregnancy pillow that I need to get out soon. Oh, someone was like, where's your jackets? My jackets are in the garage. Because <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. Okay. We did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to use my thread up code Rydell for 60% off your first order. Link in the description and all the extra info. What else can I tell you guys? I just love chatting with you and I love you and I thanks for watching.